Um, got a question from Ben, and I like this question, Ben. I don't often hear feedback about twice per week training on the podcast. Yeah, I back in 1991-92, I had a great series of conversations and training sessions and throwing session with the late Swedish discus thrower, Jorn Svensson. Now, God bless Jorn. I didn't know that he had all kinds of other issues. Uh, let's, and and he he did he did have a a, a, a tragic young death. But uh, one of the things I liked about Jorn and I, my that journal is in is in that uh, library back there is our conversations. He had these great ideas about lifting just twice a week as an elite thrower. When you first hear that, you know, you're always hearing, um, you're training three days a week. Well, I'm going to train four. You're training four. I'm going to train five. You're training twice a day. I'm going to train four times a day. You're eating a uh, hundred grams of protein. I'm going to eat 5,000 grams of protein a day. Uh, it, we, we're just crazy. And he's the first person who ever went to me and said, no, let's just do two days. And nicely, you have it here for us. Uh, so I'd offer some rambling thoughts about my experience with the program template. Okay, enjoy. Well, thank you, Ben. I really like the loose feel of twice a week training, especially with my busy medical school schedule. Hey, you know, Ben, it's nice to know you're in medical school because I get questions all the time that people want medical advice from me. And uh, this will shock you, but uh, I've never uh, actually gone to medical school. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, the only surgeries I know are with my uh, very nice letter opener. Okay. Um, the program you received from Joran Svensson has been great for me. Day one, power clean bench press. Day two, snatch front squat. Boy, that is still, I mean, I look at that now and I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Day one, power clean, bench press. Day two, snatch, front squat. After trying this away a few months, uh, I made my I made it my own with three alterations. Switch bench press to overhead press. Now, I would agree with that. Switch front squat to overhead squat. Um, in my person, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with you. In my case, I would probably flow overhead squat for a few weeks, front squat for a few weeks. That would just be my, because that's what I did. And then thankfully Ben saw the weakness in there, added a different loaded carry, bear hug, waiter walk to the end of each session. Ben, if I was to work with an elite athlete right now, I would hire you as my strength coach. Uh, I love what you've done there. Um, it's interesting to think I was getting this, I, I had never even heard of Jim Wendler. Uh, and yet the, you'll notice that uh, Jorn's uh, ideas are very similar to Wendler's. One thing, though, about Jorn, I don't know if you're getting uh, one of the things he was really big in, and, and it's some he, he wanted me to do eights, sets of eight, which was really strange. But if you read my work, you can see the influence of it because Jorn's program became the transformation, uh, transformation program. And basically the roots of one lift a day. So we would do a set of eight in the front squat and th then do a, a right after, rack the bar, step back and do a plyometric drill of some kind. Uh, he had, uh, I liked always trying to jump and touch the ceiling, uh, try to touch it with my right hand the first set, left hand second. He he had a, he had a really interesting one where he, he, he did high leaps but landed in uh, what we would call the lunge position. Don't get all excited. We weren't doing lunges. So lunge, 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 lunge like that for height. But we weren't lunging. He was just because he felt that was a throwing thing. Um, and um, after the, after, so the nice thing is after overhead press, you could probably instantly go and do some medicine ball throws or something like that. Whereas in the bench press, you'd have to get up and do something. I also walk for up to an hour a day as part of my commute and try to do some weighted pull-ups several times a week. Right now, I can do six sets of three with 40 pounds. Hey, Ben, you know what you should do is write that into an article or um, <laughs> start your own forum in that workout. I, I, I hate to say it's a perfect workout because there's no such thing, but that is pretty good. So let's review, folks. Day one, power clean, overhead press. Day two, snatch and overhead squat. Now, we used to call that exercise the exercise. Uh, and then do a loaded carry, an hour of walking a day, and several pull-ups. That's uh, that's the highest price I can give. It's very good. Thanks for sharing that with us, Ben. And uh, 
I got to tell you, this might be the best set of questions ever. Let's see if it continues.